Hi guys, it's Mary, Queen MLV. Talk to me Tuesday on Tuesday, November 24th, 2020. And I didn't get much done this week I, that I can show you. It's, it's not that anything's a secret. It's that it's not something I can show you. I've still been working on some designs of things. Um, basically, I think I have two things. I showed you last week the um, pillow I made for our receptionist for her birthday. It was a magnolia. And um, the sweetest thing happened. I walked into work yesterday and she pulls out her phone and she says, Look how well this goes in my living room. So she shows me her living room and it's all blacks and greens and golds and, and it's beautiful. And she says, and here's this chair with the pillow on it. And I just absolutely love it. And I said, oh, great. It, you know, it fits in beautifully. She goes, yeah. How much would you charge me to make another one? Because here's its companion chair, no pillow. And so I told her I wasn't going to charge her to make a pillow. And she goes, oh, there's a lot of work. And I didn't want to say, no, there really isn't. And I uh, I just had this fabric left over from the magnolia quilt I'm making. And so it, it, it didn't take any time or any money or anything. I had the pillow for him. And so I said, I'm not going to charge you, but here's what I'll do. Tell your other chair that um, it's a good thing Christmas is coming. And she started crying. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So um, I'm going to make another one of those. And um, I don't Christmas shop and I give so few Christmas gifts because I don't celebrate Christmas, but a couple of socially acceptable Christmas gifts are expected from me, and so that checks one off the box. So I thought that was kind of fun. And then um, one of my secretaries, I told you, had a birthday, and I and I was making a pillow for her that was a poppy, and so I took that into work, and um, actually, I thought I had finished it, and I put it aside, and I got up to go to work, and I go to put it in my bag to take to her, and I realized... I haven't done the hand stitching to sew the little hole together and so um, I grabbed a needle and a thread and, and, and a thimble and off to work I went and I did the hand work before she got to my desk. And so here's a picture of it before work which doesn't have the bottom sewed in. I'll put that right here. And once again, these are the scraps from the poppy quilt I'm making. And both of these quilts are, you're going to see them finished soon. The poppy quilt, well, the top's finished. I showed it to you. It just needs to be quilted. Um, the magnolia quilt, I ran into a snag, which I explained to you weeks ago. I couldn't, I bought a fabric that was discontinued. I didn't buy enough of it and because I didn't know what I was doing with it. And so I couldn't find any more anywhere. And so I had to switch fabrics. Fabrics. So I ended up with um, lots of this beautiful green fabric that I'm not using. So, but I'm having to basically start over because every block of the quilt has that green in it. And so I had made I don't know, 10 or 12 of these blocks. They're easy blocks. Easy, easy. It's it's a um, square magnolia from the panel and then two borders on it and the block is finished. So um, I do have quite a few leftovers from that. Um, and I am starting over. It's, I think, I'm sure you remember it. It was just a magnolia block on point and it, it's beautiful, but it's really simple. Um, <clears throat> So, the only other thing I did do was I made one more block for my Monarch. And um, there was, when I started this, I was making a couple of blocks a day. And then I was making one block a day. And then it was taking me two, two days to make a block. And now this one took three days to make, maybe four. And um, <clears throat> so anyway, I knew that. I'm closing into the butterfly pattern focuses on the butterfly then you want the background to distract from it so the background is the background is very simple the flower that she is sitting on is 
complex and the butterfly is way messy <laughs> just messy um, you'll see what I mean here's here's the block that I did make since, since you've seen me last that is block 42 out of 60 and um, in a minute I'll show you the 42 blocks as they're coming together um, I'm, I need to spend some more time on this butterfly for a couple reasons. It, one is, as much fun as I'm having it is getting in the way of some other things I want to be doing. Second is, I have applied to be a tester for a, um, a cat. The face of a white cat. I already have the pattern for her boyfriend who is a black cat named Mo and um, I will find out in a couple of weeks if I'll be testing her and so and then there's another one that I'm really eager to start that's from the same company that I want for my uh, for Molly's house and uh, for the breakfast area and um, so anyway I have I have more that are you guys know me I started collecting fabric for the one from Ollie's house and so you know that if I get I, I I'm really excited about that one and you know if I get more excited about that one than I am about the um, monarch then it gets back burnered. And so knowing that about me, I want to stay focused on the monarch, get it finished. I knew also knew that I if I started in the middle, I would finish that butterfly, maybe having enough, enough attention span to do the flower, and then I wouldn't have any desire to do the background, which is why I'm closing in on it from the outside. I didn't start with the easy ones because they were easy. I started with the easy ones because the hard ones will hold my attention more. So um, anyway, that's that's how I have to work with myself. That's what I have to work with. Um, but I'm used to it, and I get through it. And um, so anyway, <clears throat> that's what's going on. Those are the only I made a pillow, promised to make a pillow, and made a block. Yay! <laughs> anyway, but it's progress, and uh, I don't put any pressure on me to on myself on me on myself to um, to obviously finish things, and I don't put pressure on myself for um, unless I'm doing something for someone else. There, like a birthday, I have no deadlines, and so um, I don't feel bad that I didn't get much done. I'm just laughing at myself because I didn't get much done, and there are weeks when. I can't believe how much I get done. So anyway, that's what I did this week. And here is the picture of the 42 blocks I have. Photos of, scans of those 42 blocks put into a medley for you to see where we are so far. And um, I don't know why I think you were all so deeply invested in my big old butterfly. But um, it's what makes me happy. So I hope you have a fabulous week and I will um, look forward to your videos and see what you got done this week. Bye.